Uh, I'm Amy Matheson, part of a dairy farm family in Oxford County, and I'm in agricultural communications in Oxford County. Um, I attended the Advancing Women West Conference in beautiful Calgary early April, and it truly was a really, really great personal and professional development opportunity. 570 women in my industry attended this event over two days at the downtown Hyatt and Iris Mech's goal of the Advancing Women in Agriculture um, conference is to really allow women the opportunity to learn and to grow and to network within our own industry. Some of the topics that were discussed by the number of really engaging speakers uh, did share some similar threads. Leadership development was a really big one. Uh, Communication was another another one in communication with our peers, but also in dealing with the media as well. That was something that um, Trish Jordan uh, from Monsanto really focused on was how not to be caught off guard uh, when dealing with media and when dealing uh, in telling your your story. So Gwen Paddock from RBC really, really drove home the need for us women uh, who most of us are well educated and uh, very wise, don't take a lot of control over our own personal finances. And then also the importance of then giving money back to the organizations that are important to us as well. So there was the career component, uh, financial literacy component, and and mostly the similar thread was the leadership development. Also one uh, important thing that we need to do as an industry, and specifically as women in this industry, is to find a mentor and to find that person that we really connect with, someone that can, uh, someone we can lean on, someone we can talk to when we've had a stressful day, Really making those connections are very important to our overall uh, personal successes in whether it's on farm as primary producer or in agribusiness. So some of my favorite quotes from the two-day conference were Bianca Ferrari from DuPont Pioneer. She said true leadership is how people feel when they interact with you. And Saskatchewan's Deputy Minister of Agriculture Alana Cook urged us to be open to opportunities instead of holding back and waiting until we're absolutely ready uh, but also in the process to be kind to ourselves so that one really resonated with me. Um, Gwen Paddock the national manager for agriculture and agribusiness for RBC greatly encourages us women to get out there and take chances instead of waiting for that moment that we might be ready just to get out there and to do it. Jennifer Carlson, founder of Baby Gourmet, gave me some literal food for thought, and that's to acknowledge that we're just not the best at everything. Um, and Christine Stewart, head of Twitter Canada, said that today's leaders, they know when to get out of the way. So Debbie Travis made us laugh hysterically. She encouraged us to think of our brand, uh, which is the image that we ultimately leave behind when we leave a room. Um, many of the speakers echoed the same sentiment, surround yourself with good people in order to learn and in order to grow. Women have been doing big things in agriculture, in the world of food and on the farm for many years, but the greatest realization is that we have so much more to contribute and that makes it very, very inspiring. The Advancing Women Conference truly is created for every woman who wants to achieve success in her career with her family, in her community, and by giving back. Gaining financial independence and relationships in and outside the workplace. So whether you're in a career path with an organization, starting your own business, looking for your dream job, or wanting just to hone your sort of overall life skills, this really is the conference for you. Uh, you can check out the website at advancingwomen.ca and I will be back on October the 5th and 6th at the Weston Harbour Castle in downtown Toronto. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.